Hey guys, I had to get all my tools out of my toolbox just to reorganize and lay them out a little bit, so I thought I'd give you a tour. So to start out with, here's my soldering kit, helping hands, Wagner heat gun, Weller soldering iron, and I got this off of Amazon. Got a solder sucker and an auxiliary screwdriver just so I have one in this kit if I need it, as well as a pair of wire strippers for smaller gauge wire. These are the contents of my pouch that I carry with me most places. I've got a box opener, uh, electrical tape, small pair of channel locks, a variety of screwdrivers including Klein 11 and 1. I've got Klein wire strippers for larger gauge wire and smaller gauge wire, a pair of electrician shears, Jonard fiber strippers, crescent needle nose pliers, mini CHP snips, Extron tweaker, and I also usually have this Nightcore headlamp. It's an HC60. I've got my Johnson digital range finder and uh, both metric and standard measuring tape. I use a Makita impact driver, and right now I'm using a cobalt drill because my Makita drill broke. I've got extra batteries, charger for both of them. I've got my label makers back there, Brother and uh, Brother P-Touch and a Brady BMP21+. Plus. Then in my largest toolbox, I have a speed square, strap wrench, a socket set. I'm missing my metric right now because I left it at home. Got a set of box wrenches, got a stud finder. This is a fun drill bit that I got for something at some point. A pair of vice grips, a couple players of electrician's hammers, some channel locks, uh, crescent wrenches. This is a lock nut wrench. Uh, I've got, this is a crimp set. This is a different kind of crimp set. This is a set of dies for that crimp set. Scissors, cable cutters. This is an aircraft wire cutter. Some more snips, needle nose pliers. This is a 3 8 uh, ratchet driver. This is an extension for the 3 8 ratchet driver. And I've got a quarter inch, or no, that's a... Yeah, I think that's a quarter inch driver. This is a drill bit extension. Got my bubble level, claw hammer, mallet, three types of BNC remover tools, a uh, drywall saw, a couple files, some more screwdrivers. I've got a set of probes. Got my bit set, a set of titanium coated drill bits because I don't have my cobalt bits with me. A set of security bits, a set of Allen wrenches, multimeter, uh, outlet tester, this is a set of SDI crimps, SDI cutters, another type of SDI crimp. This is a compression tool. This is a punch down. This is for terminating Cat6 cable. This is for terminating keystones on a Cat6 cable. This is a cable comb. You can get one of those from Jonard Tools. I've got my Scott Pro 3 for testing coax and cat. These are stripping tools for coax. I've got a iFixit kit from Cobalt set of hole saws, and then a couple testers for XLR and TRS cables. Almost all of it fits in. Hey guys, so you know fiber optic cable carries data in the form of light, and it carries it on single mode fiber down a nine micron wide core. That's nine millionths of a meter wide. So what you're seeing here is my Fujikura 90S splicer automatically aligning the core of two fibers and then melting it together. That screen where it turned white, that's melting the glass together into one single fiber. Those are two different camera angles, so I can see from two different perspectives to make sure that the splice is good. Right here, I'm putting a protective tube around it. That protective tube is heat shrinkable and it has a metal rod in there to protect the splice had a little bit of trouble getting it in there, but I'm gonna heat that up in an oven that's built into the fusion. How do you feel, uh, heavyweight champion of the world? I'm feel. I'm very feel. Hey, yeah, happy to reply with the video. Um, my boss says we're IT guys with a hammer or construction workers with a computer. Um, we just do a lot of different tasks, like you said. Uh, it's part of being an AV integrator. So I work for an AV integration company. So you can call me an AV integrator. My, I think my official title is like field technician, which is about as vague as you can get, but uh, that's what it is. If it helps, relevant certifications I have are the Avixa CTS and ESPA EST. If anyone following me has better descriptions or more descriptive job titles, leave them in the comments because honestly, I don't know what to say, sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm kind of a fan of Jonard Tools. And a while back, they invited me to join their brand ambassador program. So not a sponsorship exactly, but just a chance to try out some of their products and uh, showcase them or not. Um, I decided not to do that at this time just because the work that I'm doing isn't consistent enough that I feel like I could produce consistent content for them. 
but I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in the brand. Uh, so when it happens, I'll be sure to let you know. But after we were talking, uh, they sent me a surprise package in the mail and it had this hat in it uh, with LEDs in the front. So I used to think these were super gimmicky and that I wouldn't enjoy them, but I've used it like three times today, just unexpectedly where I would have had to go get my headlamp. So at work, I'd be wearing a headlamp, but just around the house, it's actually come in handy like three times already. They also sent this t-shirt and this gator. So thanks, Jonard. Looking forward to working with you guys at some point in the future. Yeah, no, it's going to be way cheaper to make the cable yourself if you have the tools. So the tool itself, the pallet and crimp tool that we use, um, and the die set that comes with it are going to probably run 70 to 100 bucks. I can't remember last time I looked at the price. But the cable, if you're just doing 3G SDI cable, uh, so we're talking Belden 1694A or 1855A, that stuff's not that expensive. I want to say the non-plenum version is like 30 or 40 cents a foot if you buy 500,000 feet or 500 or 1,000 feet of it. Um, and then the connectors that go with it are in the neighborhood of a dollar or two bucks a piece. Um, so yeah, when you do that math, it makes a lot more sense to do it yourself. What you're paying for there is obviously a person to terminate it. And they might have some sort of special like ruggedized boot on there. But yeah, this 12G cable, this is pretty expensive stuff. So we tried to save as much of it as we could.